So you're selling options, you're managing your volatility, but then one day the stock just trends up or down and all of a sudden your P&L just goes haywire. What happened? Well, the reason that your P&L went from being something so great to something so awful is because you forgot to manage your delta. Delta is one of the most important Greeks or exposures in option trading, especially for option sellers. And in this video, I'm going to break it down for you so clearly that you will never be confused about what delta is ever again. We will cover what delta measures, how it really behaves in calls and puts, how it stacks across your portfolio, how to neutralize it, and how to use this knowledge to actually become a better trader. If you find this video helpful, make sure to subscribe. Now let's jump into things. So to start off, delta is just a Greek, meaning it's a way that we describe risk. In this case, delta is what describes your exposure to directional moves in the underlying stock. Basically, does the stock price of the ticker you're trading go up or down? Delta actually exists outside of options, stocks have delta as well. And in the world of stocks, delta is actually super easy to understand. If you buy one share of a company and that company goes up by one, then you make one dollar. If it goes down by a dollar, then you lose a dollar. If you bought a thousand shares of that company and the company went up by a dollar in share value, then you would make a thousand dollars because each share had one delta. You have a thousand shares, thousand times one is a thousand. So a thousand deltas, the share price went up by one, you made a thousand dollars. But options, yeah, options are a little bit different. Because you don't outright own shares, you typically have a partial directional exposure. And that is what Delta is measuring for us. Let's say that Apple is trading at a hundred dollars right now. A 90 strike call option might have a Delta of 0 0.6. A 100 call option might have a Delta of 0 0.5. And a 110 strike call option might have a Delta of 0 0.3. So if Apple goes up by one dollar, that that 90 strike call is going to make 30 cents a contract. The at the money one is going to make 50 cents a contract, that 100 strike. And the 110 strike is going to make 30 cents. And remember that each contract is controlling 100 shares. So in terms of your actual PL, that would be $60, $50, and $30. For these call options, we would say that calls have positive delta, which means that call options increase in value as share price increases in value as well. But for put options, it's actually the opposite. Puts have negative delta exposure. Meaning if you have puts and you want these puts to increase in value, you want share price to be going down. Going back to our Apple example, if you had a 90 strike put option this time, then maybe it's trading at a delta of negative 30. Now you'll notice that depending on which strike you pick, the delta is different. And so here's how it works. The closer to at the money you go, the closer you get to 50 delta. For calls, it would be positive 50 delta. For puts, it would be negative 50 delta. As you go more in the money, there's a lot more intrinsic value in your options, meaning it's a lot closer to just being the stock that you're trading it on. And because of that, your delta increases. Remember, owning the stock or being short the stock is a delta of plus one or minus one. And so the more it's like you're long or short the stock, the closer you get to just having one or minus one delta. That's why in that call example, the 90 strike call while the stock's trading at 100, so it's in the money, had a higher delta than the at the money 100 strike call or the 110 strike. And then obviously to wrap up that example, the further out of the money you go, the lower your delta, because there's a lot less potential for intrinsic value. It's far out of the money. And so because of that, the delta exposure, meaning if there's a $1 up move, it doesn't really impact the value of the option as much as it would if it was in the money or at the money. Now that you hopefully get the general gist of how Delta works, let's talk about why this is really important, especially for option sellers. You see, Delta is telling us about our directional exposure. And a lot of times when we are selling options, guess what? We don't want any directional exposure. Let's break it down. Let's say that you go out and you sell that 100 strike call option on Apple from our example. You would now have minus 50 deltas. If the stock went up a dollar, you'd all of a sudden be losing 50 cents a contract, even though maybe the realized vol is less than what was implied, which is what we were trying to monetize to begin with. And on the flip side, let's say you sold a 100 strike put all of a sudden you would have plus 50 deltas, meaning you're going to lose that 50 cents a contract if the stock goes down a dollar, regardless of how much realized volatility there was. So this is where trade structures such as a straddle come into play, where you are selling the at the money strike. So the 50 delta put and the 50 delta call at the same time. If that at the money call was giving you minus 50 delta and the at the money put was giving you plus 50 delta when you sold it, combining them gives you a net delta of zero. When we think about the whole position that we put on, we have to combine the exposures that all of the pieces of our trade give us, which means there'll be increases in our other Greeks as well when we do it. But looking at just our delta, plus 50, minus 50, that equals zero, meaning that when we put on a straddle, 
At the inception of the trade, we would have a net delta exposure of zero or a delta neutral trade. Now your position doesn't care what direction the stock goes. And that is exactly what we want when we are selling options. If our view is that implied volatility is going to overstate realized volatility, that doesn't include where I think the stock ends up share price wise three days from now or four days from now. So by eliminating that exposure through managing our deltas, which requires understanding your delta exposure, then you are able to structure a trade that better represents your view and allows you to get paid when you're right. Now, one thing I want to touch on before we jump into how to manage your deltas after the trade is on is that it's easy to understand being delta neutral when we just talk about at the money strike, right? Plus 50, minus 50, we get to zero, just do the at the money straddle. But the same concept can be applied when we are looking at using strangles. If you go out and you say, I want to trade a wider structure, a la Tasty Trade or any of these other option selling systems. What you can do is you can simply make sure that the delta of the options you are trading are equal for the calls and the puts. Let's say you want to do that strangle and you decide to go out and you sell a delta 30 call and a delta 30 put. Guess what? We're going to have the same impact as if we had done the at the money delta 50s. Because when you sell that delta 30 call, it's going to give you minus 30 delta exposure. And when you sell that at the money put, it's going to give you plus 30 delta exposure. 30 minus 30, zero. And so we still end up with a delta neutral structure. And that's how you go out and you structure these strangle trades where you are able to create a wide range where the ticker can stay within while being balanced on your delta at the same time. All right, so that's basically how you structure delta neutral trades. And what I want to talk about now is how to manage your trades to keep them delta neutral. The reason we're focusing on delta neutrality is because realistically, this channel is for option sellers. If you're watching this, you're probably interested in option selling and Managing your deltas is a pretty big part of this game, so we're going to focus on that pretty much for the rest of this video. All right, so let's say you sell a delta neutral position. You think that implied volatility is overpriced. It's going to outpace the realized volatility. You sell it at the money straddle. Life is good. You just close your computer, walk away, grab a coffee or whatever other drink you want, and that's the end, right? Well, not quite. Remember, you're not just having this trade on in one moment or instance. This trade is going to be on and guess what? The underlying stock is going to start to move. As the stock moves, whether volatility is high or low, your PL is going to start to shift. And along with your PL shifting, your Greeks will also start to change, meaning that delta exposure that was once neutral might no longer be neutral. What was once an at the money strike is now maybe an in the money and out of the money strike. So to fix this, now that you've picked up some delta exposure, we do something called delta hedging, which is a video on its own. We're going to release it, I don't know, maybe a week after this one gets put out. But basically by trading stock, remember each stock is one delta, you can adjust your delta exposure globally, right? Considering the straddle you sold and the share position you have. So that over the course of your trade, you no longer have this delta exposure. You actually manage it. And this is a big part of option selling. Basically, you can just trade stock to bring your delta back to neutral. And doing this is a really big part of how to monetize the variance risk premium, which is the entire reason that we run option selling strategies to begin with. So realistically, delta is not just some number that you see on the option chain. It's really important. It tells you how much exposure you have to major changes in share price. And without understanding it, your PL is going to suffer. So please go over this video if you need to. I hope I did a reasonable job explaining it for you. And if you have any questions about this concept, it's worth going over them together. So leave a comment on this video. I'll be more than happy to help you. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. Peace.